Hi, it's Joey Coffin from the Columbus Dispatch. This is the Woody Hayes Athletic Center, and this has been a wild eight days at Ohio State. A week ago, the Buckeyes lost to Michigan, a crushing loss in the rivalry of 45-23 to defeat that marked their second straight uh, defeat in the game in, in two years. And it looked like the Buckeyes season was over for all intents and purposes of winning a national championship. There was a slim path to making it back into the college football playoff. And that's what happened. Uh, on Sunday, the Buckeyes were selected to be the number four seed in the playoff. They will face Georgia in one of the semifinal games in Atlanta in the Peach Bowl, while Michigan and TCU will be in the other semifinal round in the Fiesta Bowl out in Arizona. So Ohio State has a path to redemption. Their, their season is certainly not over. Ryan Day described uh, this afternoon, today at the, the Woody, is a lot of life and energy in the building. Players returned to practice last Wednesday as there was the possibility for them to, to get back in, in the playoff. And, and to recap what has all happened in the last week, Ohio State got a break on Friday night when USC and Utah played in the Pac-12 championship game. The Trojans were seeded fifth, or fourth in the rankings, excuse me, coming into this final weekend. The Buckeyes were fifth, so that loss by USC allowed Ohio State to overtake them in the playoff rankings and, and set up the matchup with Georgia. It's an unusual situation because Ohio State didn't play in the Big Twelve title, or Big Ten title game this past weekend. They were at home. All the other schools, TCU, played the Big 12 title game. Michigan played Purdue in the Big Ten's title game. Georgia played in the SEC title game. But we've seen this before. We've seen teams come into the playoff off a loss. Georgia last year lost to Alabama in the SEC title game. And even a few years before that, Alabama lost late in the season to Auburn in 2017. That kept them from playing in, in their league's title game. They were able to make the playoff while idle on conference championship weekend. The year before that, in 2016, Ohio State did not win the Big Ten East. That went to Penn State. The Buckeyes took the back door in the college football playoff. So this is this is a roundabout way to, to make the college football playoff. It's, it's unusual. I think Ohio State would have certainly preferred to beat Michigan moved to 12-0, gone to the Big Ten title game last week and kept playing. Uh, fate was largely out of their hands. They had to root for things like Utah beating USC in the, in the Pac-12 championship game. The weekend before, they had to root for, for Clemson to lose in, in uh, late in their game to, to South Carolina that ended them up with two losses. It's what, what I think what really helped Ohio State this year is, is the field of contenders was, was pretty small in terms of teams that really felt like they had a chance to make the college football playoff. By the end of conference championship Saturday, there were only four teams in, in all of the FBS that had one loss or fewer, and that was Ohio State with one loss. TCU had one loss. Then you had the two unbeatens between Georgia and Michigan, and, and that's created this, this field. The fact that there was some debate over Alabama – with Ohio State, Alabama ended up fifth, but that was a two-loss team. And the thing to keep in mind with the college football playoff, the selection committee has never selected a two-loss team for the field. So that's the path Ohio State has taken to the college football playoff where they have a shot at a national championship. It's their third college football playoff appearance in four years under Ryan Day. And they'll have a, a chance to, to compete for the title. The statuses of Jackson Smith, the Jigba, I think is topic number one because if there was any reason why the Buckeyes maybe – didn't look at, at full strength late in the year. He was a big part of it. Jack Smith and Jigba set school records for receptions, receiving yards. A breakout slot receiver as a sophomore has played limited snaps in three games this year. It's cost the Buckeyes. Uh, they're one of their biggest playmakers on offense. He would be a, a big threat to have in the slot as they go against Georgia, which is one of the nation's top-ranked defenses. They allow less than two touchdowns per game. Really stingy, second nationally in scoring defense behind only Illinois. And his status remains to be determined. Ryan Day said he would, wouldn't have an update on, on whether he'll be available until later this week. It could go even longer than that. The, the semifinal isn't until New Year's Eve. And Trayvon Henderson has also been playing with a, with a foot injury. Ryan Day expects all the players who were, who were out against Michigan to, to have a chance to, to be back for the playoffs. So I think that's the, probably the, the second biggest question is whether now that Ohio State is in, what version of Ohio State will will be there in Atlanta on December 31st? This is Joey Coffin from the Columbus Dispatch. Thanks for watching.